It's What's Cooking Today, the nation's food, wine, restaurant, travel, and entertainment show. Michael Horn and Paul Stern. Where are we headed, Paul? Mike, uh, headed to Costa Rica. That is the location of our international wine correspondent, Larry Lipson. Hey, Larry. Welcome to the broadcast. How are things going there in Costa Rica? Hey, it's wonderful here. It's uh, raining, as usual. Uh, well, I think it just stopped, but uh, very briefly. Um, we're in the part of the rainy season, evidently, and it rains almost every day now. You, uh, we've talked about this briefly before. Does it cool off a bit when it rains and then get warm afterwards with humidity, or is it, uh, is it pretty? Uh, it's always it's always warm. We we never have to. I never have. To, I don't even have a sport coat anymore. Really? So you never need a sport coat. So even when it rains, it's warm. Yes, sir. All right. I just want to check that out. Now let's talk anyway, about. Yes. Go ahead. Go ahead. You know, I was in the States, and um, I missed last week because I was in an airplane. Anyway, I told uh, uh, Jack Roberts, your program director and chief uh, bottle washer there, that uh, that I would uh, let you know about all the wines I drank while I was in the States. Yeah, you actually called me one night. You were in Las Vegas and uh, sampled some great wine. So, so tell us, what were some of the discoveries you made while you had your swing through the United States from the Lipson Institute? Okay, one of them was uh, in Daytona Beach. We were there. Uh, we were actually in Orlando uh, area with a friend. A friend. We stayed for a couple of nights in uh, Ponce Inlet in Florida. And we went to see Tony Bennett in Daytona Beach. He was in concert. And so we went to a restaurant across the street from where he was appearing called Hyde Park. at some sort of uh, hotel chain restaurant. Not a bad restaurant, actually, where we had steaks. And... Uh, I got a bottle of Ed Mead Zinfandel because we hardly ever get good Zinfandels down here. A 2006, and it was uh, very good with the steaks. It was uh, just perfect. So the Zinfandel, Ed, you love with the steaks. And which, uh, what uh, uh, brand was that? What winery? Ed Mead. Ed, Ed Mead. Ed, Ed Mead's, Mead. okay. And, and Ed where, where would that come? What region? Uh, where, where was that uh, actually produced? Um, I, it was Ed Mead's in Mendocino. I think it's a Mendocino. Oh, a Mendocino's in. Mendocino's in. Okay, very good. What else? Um, okay, and then uh, uh, we went to uh, Las Vegas. We, uh, uh, I got that call we from in, you in Vegas. Yes, I did. Yeah, we were in uh, Hope it wasn't uh, from Vegas. Cash. We went to uh, Smith & Walensky and had really good, those $40 steaks up there, you know. Right. That's Cabernet and, uh, time, huh? No, so guess what? What? I got another. I got another Zin. Oh, good. A two hundred and six Murphy. Good. Oh yeah, and that's uh, they've been churning out some good stuff there. That's up in the the um, the Sonoma County area, up in the uh, Alexander uh, Valley there, where they uh, put together Murphy Good. And what year was this? An 06? Yeah, they were, yeah. Both of them were O six. Is evidently a Zin from O six. In my estimation, is a pretty good buy. All right. All right so what that's else? The din. Okay. Uh, okay. What else? Uh, when we were when we were uh, back in uh, in Florida on our way back, we went to a restaurant called uh, Stonefish, and it's also it's owned by the Outback. You know, it was near the airport, and uh, we had wild. I had wild clams with uh, linguine. Lillian had some lobster tails. So we got a bottle of uh, Chardonnay. Uh, this was the Lore, Jerry Lore. You know, Riverstone Chardonnay, the 2008, and uh, very crisp and uh, slightly, uh, you know, slightly uh, uh, tart, and it, it it really wasn't. You know, it was a really good wine for those for those items. All right, we got that, and and so uh, that was uh, what varietal was that? That was the Chardonnay, and it was the Lore Riverstone Chardonnay. Now, what area is that from? Not, uh, 
that's for Monterey County. Monterey County. Okay, good. And good Chardonnay is coming out of there. So you kind of like, uh, after you're doing your research on uh, wines from around the world, you sort of uh, came back to the States uh, and uh, very uh, with a very robust turn there, and you went just to the American wines. And uh, did you find some of the wines you've been talking about, the imports, or were they predominantly when you went, you specifically were seeking out some uh, uh, California wines to see, uh, kind of compare them? Uh, yeah, because, yeah, because we don't, you know, California wines down here are really expensive. <clears throat> They're about twice as much as what you pay in the States, I think. Um, for example, <clears throat> uh, just American wines. We had one last, uh, was it a few days ago, Lillian brought home a Columbia Crisp 205 Twin Vines Cabernet. Wow. And it's 205, so it's got five years on it. It cost about, how much down here? About 18 bucks, wasn't it? It probably costs around nine, ten dollars in the states, and here it was about eighteen, nineteen dollars. So, right. but it was it was very nice. All right, Boy. now what about Spanish wines? I was talking about the, going to this Rioja tasting yesterday, and you're in Costa Rica, and you're on our worldwide uh, Lipson Institute that we've set you up at there from CRN for your advanced research. And uh, I'm just wondering, uh, these uh, red wines. Uh, that come from Spain, two dollars, three dollars a bottle. Do you get those in Costa Rica? Do they uh, in, uh, come importing into yeah, that? You can, yeah, but they're no two dollars and three dollars oh. a bottle. Oh, so, so the import, right. so the import fees yeah, go on there. What do they go for for the Spanish wines? Well, they're 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 at least like nine, ten dollars a bottle. Oh, well, that's no big deal. Yeah. Come on, Larry, that's pretty good for gosh sakes. Have you done some research on those wines? Yeah, I've, I've I've even talked to you about one. There's one name that uh, sticks in my craw here. It's uh, Joan Sarda, S-A-R-D-A. Sarda makes uh, good Spanish wines. If you see that name, S-A-R-D-A, she makes a whole range of wines and even a uh, cava that's really good. Oh. That's the uh, sparkling wine. Yeah, I had a cava yesterday. A sparkling wine was uh, excellent. And uh, uh, some of the wines I tasted, I'd mention them to you, but they're not I imported yet into the United <coughs> States. But we may check them out with you, uh, Larry, and see if you found them. <coughs> the, what's that brand yeah, of the sure. sparkling, uh, the cava? The, the, the com the com hey, come, come down here and bring the case, would you? <laughs> yes, I, I'm due to come down to the Lipson Institute and uh, need to send a case to you. <laughs> I need to bring that. I know that's the admission price to get into the Lips Institute is bring hey, wine you for know study. Something? Yes. Today is Independence Day in Costa Rica. It's Mexico Independence Day today or tomorrow, isn't it? What? I think tomorrow it is. What does that mean? You got to lock the doors? <laughs> is, is Lillian out there with a couple of rifles and she's shooting them in the air or something? What's going on? What happens on Independence Day in Costa Rica? Well, there's a few drum rolls going on. We keep hearing the drums over in. Uh, a little town near us. Um, but Watch out for stray else. bullets. We haven't heard. We haven't heard any cannons yet. We'll probably hear it tonight. If they have these like cannon shots that go off. And, uh, what, 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 that, what is the Costa Rican yeah. battle cry? The uh, familiar rebel yell, if I could say. Senor Lipson. We don't have an army here. Senor Lipson. Senor Lipson. Come with me. Come with me, Senor Lipson. You are wanted by the authorities. Come with me. You might. I hate to say this, but let's not. Uh, you know, not to scare anybody, but Apparently Liam losing Larry. would be quite a catch if you know for the rebel camp. Yeah, apparently, uh, we have lost not, Larry Lipson. Has been taken away by the authorities. Not that I, it couldn't be enjoyable to some degree. Costa Rican independence. <laughs> no offense, State. Larry. They don't have an army in Costa Rica, but apparently some rebels have hey, taken. Can we away hold Larry, Larry over? Please, let's do that and see if Lillian can save him. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a cliffhanger sequence here on CRN. Stay with us, the What's Cooking Show. You have a more